exist. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can mine Aeon. Actually, I'm not sure how to pronounce this coin, but uh, I think it's fine. First, we have to um, create ourselves a wallet. I think the most easy one, the most easy one, is uh, Aeon Pocket. So we're going to use this one for this tutorial. We're going to click create an account and then create new wallet. Now this is our private key. It's very important that you put this somewhere safe down and then you don't lose it and don't tell anyone about it. Of course, I will show you my private key now, but I'm not going to use my wallet. This is just for tutorial reasons. Now we have to confirm the login key and then we can log in again. Alright, here we can see the wallet information. This is our address and this is our balance. Of course, we have nothing because we didn't start mining yet. So, <coughs> the next step is to set up the miner. For this, you have to use your terminal. You can open this by just clicking on applications and then terminal or you can hold command and then press the spacebar to open the spotlight search and then type terminal in there. Alright, once this is open you have to paste the first command. I will show you. This is going to be in the video description of course. Copy this paste this and then enter. This will take a while and just follow the instructions. So now I have to put my password in here. Alright, now we can see that the installation is successful. So the next step is going to copy this. You can also find this in the video description. So just paste it by holding, for example, Command and V, or right click, and then paste. All right, as you can see, I already installed this, so this isn't going to take that long. On your computer, it might take longer. All right, now we can see that the build file have been written and now we can start to make them. Alright, we hit the 100% and we are done with the terminal. What we are now going to do is open a new window of the finder. And then we have to go our users and then there should be a new folder called xmric just double click on it then click on build also with the double click and then we have to paste the config.json file which I will show you it's this one into the folder. Now what does it say the config.json file? Basically it's saying on which mining pool you are mining. Now you can see here that I choose the hash world mining pool. This is my address and this is my password. I will put you a link where you can download this config file in the video description and uh, the only thing you have to do is to set up your own address here so we're going to copy this one because we need going to need it later and then we have to put the config file into the build ordner. 
once this is done we can start by either clicking on this here open or going to the terminal and then typing dot slash and then the name of the program basically it's the same you can also find this in the video description xm rig and then hitting enter now we will see a new co connection is opened and a new job is received if we're going to wait a little there will be coming new jobs soon and we can see what our hash rate is now it's very convenient <coughs> When you're also going to use the same mining pool as I do, you can go to iron.hashvault.pro and then as you can see I'm logged in right now, but usually you would go to the settings, then copy your address. and then type the password in and click on login but right now I'm still logged in and now you can see when you click here on you how your current hash rate is your total hashes your total do your total paid everything if this doesn't work then you have to enter your payment address here just enter it and then click track life states and now this should work all right um, if you want to have a second tutorial how to set up this on windows please click on i want to see this on windows and see you next time.